so in this quick video we're going to be taking a look at how to create a lead form on Facebook. So um, I'm sure all of you have heard of lead form campaigns. Basically what this means is you can serve an ad rather than sending someone off to a landing page where they might complete a form, you can send someone directly into a form where they can submit their details and you can then connect that form to your database or wherever you need to send that information. So to create a new lead form, you go to the ad level within a lead generation campaign, sort out your ad details, and then you get to the, the section here where you can create form, and then you get all the different options. So the main options, we'll just call this test form. Um, the first two options you have are a form that's gener um, generated and designed to get more volume, or a form that's designed to qualify a little bit harder um, and they call that higher intent. So I would probably select that option because it gives you a few more kind of choices when you're setting up your form. So the first section here is kind of um, all about that introduction so you can either use the image from your ad or you can upload a kind of a separate image from you know, wherever you want to to kind of make your form a little bit more specific, enter in a headline enter in some text and then the really interesting thing I think here are the questions. So once you get kind of someone into your form you can qualify them a little bit with some questions. Um, so if we add a question here we've got multiple choice, short answer, conditional or an appointment request which I think is also a really good thing for bookings. So if we take us as an example one question might be kind of what um, marketing channel learn to spell channel are you interested in and we might also ask another question around kind of what is your expected budget so what this means is that when someone's completing the form we've got a little bit more information but it's making it that little bit harder for someone to submit their details which means the lead that we get through is going to be that little bit more qualified. So I think this is a really important step when you're using lead forms because quite often they can just be a little bit too easy which means the quality can suffer so this just kind of puts in a little bit of an extra step which is always really good. Then the next stage is the data that we're going to collect. So the default options here are email address and full name. And we've got loads of different kind of options here. So um, you don't have to take full name. You can split out by first and last name, which is really useful if that's how your database works, for example. Um, and we can add in all sorts of different um, requests for information in terms of contact details. So we could put in phone number, if we're running a B2B campaign, we can put in something like job title. And we can start to build out a pretty comprehensive lead form. Really all of this depends on the context. So if it's a webinar registration, for example, that's probably gonna be a lot more straightforward. So name, email address, maybe another piece of information if you need to collect that. If you're actually trying to get an inquiry or an appointment booking or something like that, then just putting a few more steps in, a few more questions can really try and like help you qualify that lead and just make the whole process a little bit more productive for you. It's gonna reduce the rate, it's gonna increase the cost per lead, but you're gonna get more quality out of the end of it. So that's broadly how you do it. Once you're done, click publish, and then that's the form that's gonna be associated with the add-in question. I hope that's useful.